What's going on, Dead Space community? It's me, Steve, and I'm happy to be showing you something we've been working on for a really long time. It's Dead Space 3. So we're about to check out the demo, and this takes place at pretty much the beginning of Act 2. Isaac's kind of discovered an all-new hostile environment, and on, on this new planet, he's going to encounter an all-new necromorph. So when you see the necromorph being taken down, pay close attention to it, because you'll see the different ways that it acts after it's been dismembered. Let's take a look.
So that was the Dead Space that you've kind of come to know and enjoy. It's the single player Dead Space. But what we're going to show you next is something that we've been working really hard on that's super cool, which is all new in Dead Space 3, and that's drop-in, drop-out co-op. With drop-in, drop-out co-op, you're able to team up and take down the terror together with a friend. So what you're going to see here is the way that our co-op works. Now, I want to be really clear about one thing. The people that really enjoy that single-player Dead Space game that they've come to love and enjoy, that's going to remain the same. So if you never want to play co-op, you can just keep playing single-player Dead Space. It's going to be just like what you've come to expect. But if you want to try the game with a friend, now you have that option by letting a player seamlessly drop into your game and pick up the story with you. What you're going to see is actually some different dialogue, some changed around cutscenes, some new story details that you wouldn't normally get. So you're kind of getting two games for the price of one. And there's a motivation now to share Dead Space with a friend. So pay close attention, you're going to hear some different dialogue, and you're going to notice that the cutscene is a little bit different here in this sequence. The other thing you're going to get to see coming up real soon is our all new human enemy, which are Unitologist soldiers. So take a look. We came to this frozen shithole to stop the markers, and nothing, not you or your obsession with Ellie, is gonna get in my way. You got that? I know why I'm doing this. Do you? Let's get this lift powered up. With any luck, everyone will be waiting for us past the gates. see a way over the gate.
about to see here is one of our all new thrilling epic moments. This one takes place with this giant freaking drill and it's really cool because it's an environment hazard that you can actually use against the necromorphs. So pay attention to what's going on here. You're going to get to see necros getting pulped into this giant drill which is awesome and we really spent a lot of time making sure the pulping was super awesome because I like saying the word pulping and it's super awesome to see bits and body parts go flying and it's just it's freaking cool. So we did it, and it's awesome. So check that out. The other thing you need to notice is that it's really intense because not only are you dealing with all these necromorphs coming at you, but you got this giant freaking drill that you have to deal with. It's big, it could pulp you, which is pretty cool, but we're not gonna let that happen. Hopefully if the demo is any good, we won't let him get pulped. But it's really cool, and it's also super thrilling, super epic, and, need I say, spine tingling. That's right, spine tingling. It's a new one, trying it out. Let me know what you think about spine tingling. What the hell is that? It looks like a drill. The warehouse should be just out. Then we better find a way to move it. So if giant drills were, was not enough, we've taken it up a notch. Check out this giant boss fight here. This is the Nexus, and the end of it is just insane. The team did a phenomenal job on it. It was super awesome to work on, and I think they did a great job. Take a look. Come on, you're fucking kidding me.
Thanks for coming out and checking out the video. This is the first of many exclusive videos we're going to be doing, and I'm really excited to be back talking to you guys about Dead Space 3. We've been anxious to do it, and now we finally can, and we're going to be talking to you a whole bunch. So if you want to stay active with the Dead Space community, check out deadspace.com. And if you want to post any messages, and we will be looking at them, go to uh, Twitter and Facebook. We're anxious to hear what you have to say. Thanks a lot, and see you soon.